Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 11 Introduction to IoT dealing with processing topologies. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come, let's go into the video. So, here we will be seeing about the importance of processing in IoT, why we need some, something to be processed. So, as the internet is dealing with vast amount and the type of data flowing through the internet is, uh, uh, it is making a necessity for the need of some intelligent and resourceful processing techniques. So, that techniques can be in any way, it can be divided into any way. So, that necessity becomes very crucial because of rapid development in the technologies. Uh, whether it may be uh, oriented to application oriented in IoT or uh, any other technology, because of rapid advancement, enormous pressure is on to the existing network. So, based on that, the uh, processing is divided into three types very time critical, time critical, and normal. So, it is divided into three types. So, based on this, we have come to a conclusion like when it is very critical, then the data from uh, data from a flight control system or health care, uh, these all uh, systems, uh, they need the input or output which should be in immediate response. So, that can be to, uh, uh, told as very critical, very time critical. So, these data will have very low threshold of processing latency. It will have very low threshold of processing lat latency. So, like in range of uh, small milliseconds. So, the data from the source uh, which can tolerate very small processing latency, then it is said to be the time critical data, right? And so these data, like time critical can be like uh, systems which is having vehicles, uh, traffic management, machine oriented systems, a motor switch in and off, smart home, automated home system or surveillance camera system. So all these comes under time critical. And normal data, normal data is nothing but it can tolerate a processing latency which can be converted as few minutes to hours. So, how very critical doesn't have any latency, immediate response it needs and time critical is somewhere it is having latency of few milliseconds. Like the same way, normal data will have latency which is of few minutes to few hours. So, uh, uh, like uh, they uh, for this system, like agriculture system, environmental monitoring, how the temperature is, how the humidity is, all these kind of systems can be taken as normal data. So, for processing all these requirements of data, we, we have divided into different uh, critical uh, devices, okay. So, the need for processing the data in places are almost like it is nearer to the sources, which is very crucial in developing and deploying the success of uh, uh, success in each domains. So, the time critical data or the processing requirements, it will, it will allow the transmission of the data to be processed. Where it will be processed, it will be processed to some database through the internet and it is stored in the database in the form of database in the cloud server, right? And based on this, we have divided into topologies, that is off-site, on-site, where off-site topology is further divided as remote processing and collaborative processing. So, why this topology is coming is, so we are identifying some intelligent processing requirements that can be deployed to different IoT application. We are taking a crucial step for that deployment. And if suppose there is a properly designed IoT architecture, then it will result in massive saving of bandwidth, network bandwidth. There will be no massive pressure that is created in the internet. So, based on seeing all these, we are dividing into different topologies. Now, we'll be seeing about what is on-site processing. So, see here you have event fire where temperature sensor is sensing and processing it. That is known as on-site processing. That is, in on-site processing, in this architecture, it signifies that the data, it is processed at the source itself. That is, if it is a fire in the sense that event, it is started at the source itself. So, uh, when considering to crucial, very crucial, it is actually crucial in application. So, when it is crucial, it will have low tolerance for latency, maybe few milliseconds. 
so that latency may result from processing hardware or the network so see here an event of fire is detected and the uh, temperature sensor is utilized which is connected to the sensor node and this sensor node is processing the data information from the sensed event and it generates an alarm or alert to the uh, user so the node uh, here the node actually uh, has an option of either forwarding the data to the remote hub or it it will only analyze and store it in a database that the, these are the areas which is prone to fire accident or these are the areas which which is prone to road accident so that such kind of things can be done in on site processing okay if it is off site processing it is allowing a latency which is uh, cheaper than the on site processing topology that is this difference uh, is in cost when it when you have low demands and requirements obviously cheaper you will get the product so the sensor nodes which are not at all required for processing the data on the urgent basis that is the latency time is more few hours few minutes to few hours so in off site processing uh, architecture what happens is the sensor node is actually responsible for collecting and framing the data okay and it after framing the data it will be transmitted to some other location so but in on site processing what happens the uh, the data is organized and immediately it is sent through the internet to the uh, uh, to some location so here in the off site topology it has few dedicated processing enable system rather than node it is having a enable system which can be borrowed by multiple sensor nodes to accomplish various task so this arrangements will have the cost on the higher side so we are up, uh, doing when when you are using multiple sensor nodes obviously the deployment will be on the larger scale where the cost obviously increases right so in this off site topology what happens is the data from the sensor node which is generated it will be transmitted either to the remote location or to the multiple processing nodes where are the other nodes it will search for it and process the data so multiple nodes in the sense it can come together to share their processing power collaboratively it can do the proce uh, processing of data so that is why this off site processing is divided into collaborative and remote processing so in remote processing see what happens is you have the same thing through internet it is remotely it is sending the data to a, a processor hub so this is using lot of network bandwidth and when it is using lot of network bandwidth it depends upon the presence of internet connectivity between the sensor node and the remote processing infrastructure so here it 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 passes the sensing of the data by various nodes and the data is then forwarded to the remote server through cloud basis so here what happens is the processing data from hundreds to thousands of sensor nodes can be simultaneously offloaded in a single platform see it is not that only this node is giving data to this platform it can be any number of nodes giving the data to that platform so if it is any number of node the uh, the area which you want to deploy becomes high and uh, cost also increases and obviously there will be energy saving immediately all data can be secured at one place so uh, this can be done by enabling the reuse and reallocation of the processing resources so when you see about the setup of the devices it is ensuring that it has maximum scalability solution which will affect the cost the cost of deployment okay and sensing of an event here it is sensing fire fire event so sensing of an event is performed locally and decision is made and outsourced to the processing unit here and if suppose if you are taking collaborative processing what happens is in these kind of scenarios it is having a limited either you will have limited network connectivity or there will be no network connectivity because all these node itself will be connected in a form of mesh it will be in contact with each other so this topology is uh, it is quite economical when it is considering for large scale deployment 
so one simple solution what you can do is you can club together all the processing power see all these are clubbed together to a nearest uh, processing nodes and collaboratively all the data can be sent and uh, maintained in one database so because of that what happens is the latency is reduced to a greater extent so when the latency is reduced obviously the bandwidth of the network is also reduced and the topology can be quite beneficial for applications like agriculture uh, high frequency data processing all those so this topology is uh, like mesh when you use mesh network then implementation of the complete architecture becomes very easy where the cost and uh, the generation and transmission of data can be made easy so hope you you would have understood this processing concept stay tuned for more information thank you